people for which he stands. For which he stands. Now go to that voodoo. That voodoo. Ladies and gentlemen, the idiot reel on KSFO. (laughs) We've got George Stephanopoulos asking Obama if he's the underdog. Set up question. Underdog. Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Hey, we're no longer losing jobs like we were, she says. We've got Obama saying, Solyndra, a good bet. $535 million bet, which we lost. But it was a good bet. It was a good bet. Richard Trumpka, AFL-CIO president, calling out Scott Walker, calling him Lucifer. Oh, and pass the jobs bill. Often imitated. Never duplicated. The KSFO Friday Idiot Reel. Are you the underdog now? Absolutely. uh, Because, you know, given the economy, there's no doubt that you know, whatever happens on your watch, you've got... Uh, you embrace that pretty quickly. You, you know, I, I don't mind. I, I, I'm used to being an underdog. Anyone who uh, looks at uh, the economy today knows that we have come a long way. Uh, we are certainly no longer dropping like a rock like we were uh, in the months leading up to President, President Obama taking office. Well, I don't think they're better off than they were four years ago. Uh, They're not better off than they were uh, before this extraordinary recession that we're going through. Now we've begun to turn the corner. We've now gone through 18 months of private sector job growth, and we're no longer losing hundreds of thousands of jobs a month. Pass this bill. Pass this bill. Pass this bill. Pass this bill now. So let's tell Congress, pass this bill. And what's the problem? Do they not have the time? They just had a week off. Is it inconvenient? Pass this bill. Pass this bill. Pass this bill. Green energy is an area that the entire world is in a race to try to win, and the U.S. can't afford to not be a major winner in this race. Hindsight is always 20-20. It went through the regular review process, and people felt like this was a good bet. You were always um, out there on the cutting edge, and that involves both big returns, but it sometimes involves some risks as well. When did you first know about the program, officially, I believe, called Fast and Furious? To the best of your knowledge, what date? I'm not sure of the exact date, but I probably heard about Fast and Furious for the first time over the last few weeks. There's been some discussion in Wisconsin about the possibility of a recall Governor Walker. When I support going after Lucifer, let me think for a while. <laughs> That's a tough one. So, so, I know you're in the process of coming up with your demands. I know you're in the process of coming up with your demands. Uh, if you would allow me just to state my, my own... And God bless them for their spontaneity. It's, you know, it's an independent people coming. It's young, it's focused, and it's going to be effective. If you love me, you got to help me pass this bill. Pass this bill. Pass this bill. You should pass this jobs plan right away. Tell Congress to pass the American Jobs Act. Yeah, I think he wants to pass the Jobs Act. Pass the bill. I think he wants to pass the bill. The yeah. bill. Yeah. This weekend we're going to pass the bill. And have a little bit of the bill. Fleet Week. We are your official Fleet Week station. We got you covered. We'll be going live this weekend as well. Because we love the troops. Oh, yeah. We support our troops. We thank God for our men and women who serve the United States of America so faithfully.